In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this transparent text effect in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drool here and as you can see, this is the final output. Okay, so to create this effect, first of all, let's go to file menu and open the image that we want to work on. So I'm going to go and select this photo that I found on Pexels. I'm going to go and open it. Now before we start the effect, I would like to crop it so when we save as a JPG, it will fit properly on most of the screens. So for that, select your crop tool and in the crop, go and make this one 1920 and this one 1080 and then hit enter and confirm it from here. Okay. Okay, now let's add in the text. So for that, go and select your text tool and for the font, I'm using Bebas Neo. And if you don't have this font, the download link is in description. So I'm going to go and start typing. Let's type design. Okay. And after that, confirm it. And now as you can see, the font is really tiny. So to make it big, simply press Ctrl T and hold your shift key and drag it from one corner like this. And it will allow you to make your font as big as you want. Uh, I'm going to go and make sure that it fits the page properly. And for this effect to work, make sure color of your font is black. If you want to change it, make sure you have selected your type tool here and then you can click on this box here, the color box. And now you can change it to black. So I'm going to go and keep it black. And after that, go here in your blending options and change it to soft light. After that, hold your control key and command if you are using Apple product. So hold the control key and click on thumbnail of your text layer. So it will make selection of the font. But actually we need the selection of the outside area. So for that, I'm going to go to my select menu here and inverse it. So we have outside area selected. After that, go to your adjustment layer here and select solid color. And in the solid, make sure you have white color for now, then go and hit OK. And after that, in the opacity, go and make it 45%. And just like that, the effect is ready. And the fun part is that you can double click on this thumbnail here and change it to any color you like. So let's go and keep it sky blue. Looks good. Hit OK. So this way you can apply any color you want. And let's say if you want to change the image, uh, just go to your file menu and select place. And here you can apply two different images. So let's go and select this one, place it. I'm going to go hold my shift key and make it big enough so it fits the canvas. And after that, select this image and put it under your text layer. And you have entire effect on different image. And after that, double click on this thumbnail here and change the color to something else that works with the image. So this looks cool. Hit OK. So just under in 30 seconds, we applied same effect to different image. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. And if you are new here, you can click on any of these boxes to check out more stuff. Plus, you can also click on that subscribe button. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my YouTube channel where I have tons of Photoshop tutorials waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.